It's just such a different world. I know you can't turn the clock back, but that's... that's what I want to do. And I think the hardest thing to understand is... why he did it. Why? Lunch is ready. Put you to the table. Thank you. Yeah, actually, can I get an orange juice? Nice one. Yeah, I've got a permit to wish you at Goldman Street. Yeah, well, ain't there no one else? Yeah, okay, go on, then. What's the substation number? Okay. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Cheers, John. Is that another one? Yeah, it won't take long. It's Meadow Road. We can go there first. I'll be blowing fuses. What are you up to at the weekend and anything? Still doing a baby's room. If you have a fine wood chip on the wall with gloss paint over it, just leave it there. It's a fucking nightmare to strip it. Hey, your baby's due soon, isn't it? Yeah, last week. Promised to get home early, start plastering tonight. I think the dinner's in the dog if I don't get it done. <laughs> You've done a bit of plastering, haven't you? What? Who told you that? Come on, it'll take a couple of hours or two of us. Uh, I'm washing my hair this week. Yeah, right. Bob, how's it going? All right, Tommy? Yeah. Listen, it's going to take a bit longer, I think. There's not enough room for a repair. I've asked him to dig out the other side of the pit. How long do you think you'll need? Don't know. An hour or so? Tell him the kettle's broke. It should take 20 minutes, then. Where are you now? Got some blown fuses at Meadow Road. We're on our way there first. You're joking. It'll be dark soon. Yeah, it'll just be blown fuses. It won't take long. Well, I'm as keen as you, mate, to get finished for the weekend. I'm getting here rake at home. Yeah, tell me about it. I'll right, see you later, then. Yeah, get off the phone and earn a living. Yeah, yeah. Not going to be for an hour. Friday traffic. Well, there's no right turn here. Don't worry. I'll tell him you were driving. Uh, he did bend the rules a bit. But only up to a certain point, he'd never do anything silly. Um, well, I, I didn't think he would. Um, but he's a shit sort of engineer, definitely. Hey, I can't find the fuse, mate. No, it's in for testing. Oh, really? I could have grabbed one this morning. No, I'll do it without. It'll just be load. It's never a real fault. Oh, well, shall I walk the route, then? No, I got it. I want to get Bob under permit as quick as we can. OK. That's it. Let's go. Come on, girls, what do you call that? I could have had a pie and all the rate you're going. Here, son. Hello? Yeah, we're almost finished. You want this one the same as that? Yeah? Yeah, big enough for the spiking gun to go in. All right. OK, see you later. He probably won't spike, you know. The cables are running straight through. Yeah, I know which one's dead. I know guys who've been in this job for 10, 20 years. Everyone cuts a few corners, but if you're... if you're prepared to do that, you should know which rules... which rules matter less. I mean, 
you know, which rules you should bend and which ones not to. All the guys are the same. We, you know, if you know what you're doing, 99 times out of 100, shortcuts work. Yeah? There's never a problem, you know. And what about that one time, that one in 100? Right, how's it going? They're digging out the other side. Well, you can already see the cables running straight through. We tried to lift the covers, but they've had it. But we can cut either side and pull the new one straight through. It's a bit tight, but, yeah, they're continuing through. All right, lads, you can stop there. I'll just spike the other side and check the signal there. Have you got a risk assessment on you? Are you going to see the match tomorrow, then? Yeah, I wish. I've been grounded. The missus is due any minute. Do you know what? I can't breathe till that bedroom's finished. <laughs> She's got you, son. Uh, shouldn't we say there's two excavations? No, no, we do it all the time. Look, let's just get Bob started, then we can get on with it. Can you get your foot cutter? No, it's broken. Great. You get the axle and some tape from the car. Yeah. on. He's a bit uptight, isn't he? Who? Damn. Yeah, he'll learn. I think there is a very straightforward attitude that we like to instill, which is if you see something wrong, if you have any doubts about it, then you're able to speak up and you should speak up. And I think, yes, of course, there's going to be a hierarchy, but I think people feel that they can. Um, are, we, are, they going to see, are they going to see this, aren't they? Because I don't want to grass anyone up, but... No, sorry, I don't think I can be honest, like, open, no. Because they've been doing the job for years, so if I was going to say anything, they'll just take the piss. I feel it's Tom again. Yeah, we finally got the gun sorted, we're ready to spike. Yeah, cheers, mate. Go on, Dad. That's great. Cheers, mate. You're going to call them back when you do the other one? What, in here? Yeah. It's too tight to fit the gun in. I don't want to chance it with those LVs so close. OK. I was on a job in the summer. It was HV cables, uh, very similar to this one. It was really hot, and the guy that I was doing it with had... Well, he, didn't, he had some PPE on, but not the amount that he should have done. Uh, I've had people have a go at me for taking too long to put mine on, so you can imagine the amount of grief I'm going to get if I'm always going on about procedure all the time. you just got to, like, keep your head down and get on with it. You need to see more jobs. I've done this loads of times. You can see the cables running straight through, and I've got a signal. We'd be here all weekend if we did it your way. I'll show you how we used to do it before the hydraulics. Gone too soft on you lot these days. It's the missus. She's holding a paintbrush to his head. If he doesn't finish the decorating, she's selling his season ticket. <laughs> you should use one of those paint sprayers. Does the whole room in an hour. Did you hear about me? He hired one of those last week, filled it with brown paint his wife bought, plugged it in, last person who used it, left it switched on. Machine goes ballistic, and it comes out completely covered. Looked like a walking turf. <laughs> <laughs> Crap weekend, he said. <laughs> Tom! Tom! Oh, fuck him out! Tom! 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 They said there's been an accident and could I come down? And I just kept saying, what? What's happened? And they wouldn't say much, just to come in as soon as I could. And so when I got there, I was just expecting a few cuts and bruises. And so I was really unprepared for what I saw. Because I thought there'd been a mistake at first, because I... I just didn't recognise him. I remember taking the, the hacksaw to the cable 
and I can remember thinking I'll just take five minutes and I can get home and get stuck into the baby's room and get that done and then then we could have a really nice weekend before Lisa goes into labour. It is the guy who I'm working for does know his way around. He's been around the block. So therefore, it's what he thinks is safe, not what I think. And that's how it should be, because he's got more field experience than I have, so he's, he's not going to listen to me. Um, basically, because I know fuck all compared to him. Sorry about the swearing. I'm sorry, mate. I was... it's, like it's... it's just happened, isn't it? So it's quite... You know, you, you can't stop people breaking the rules. You can't. I mean, you can, you can use a stick, a carrot, but in the end, when you're not there, they're the ones doing the job. I mean, it's not... Ultimately, it's not about me. It's not what I do or don't do. It's down to them. You know, they're the ones out on site. I mean, what difference can I make, Re realistically, sitting in an office here? You know, I, I, well, I'm not out there with them. I mean, they're the ones making day-to-day -day decisions. Jack, I... Jack's is different. I can't do stuff with any more. Dad, you know, why is your face like that, Dad? Why did you do that, Dad? You know, we like to play and have a kick about. And the burns have just affected all the nerves down one side. Yeah. I can't feel my right side, basically. It's, uh... Yeah, um... Just... Different me. I know I shouldn't be, but I'm really angry with him. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I'm angry with all of them. His managers, his colleagues, they were... They were mates. <gasps> if he was... Oh, God. If he was cutting corners, why didn't anyone say anything? I thought they looked out for each other. Tell you what, I would not want anyone to go through what we're going through now. Have you seen Tom yet? Uh, no, not yet. But I have talked to him on the phone and he says he's doing all right. So um shouldn't be too long before we're knocking about together again. Yeah, it would be good to see the guy. And he did bend the rules a bit, I'm not going to lie. But he's such a good engineer. And he's sound, you know. Yeah, he's a really good bloke. He probably won't spike, you know. Yeah, I know which one's dead. Shouldn't we say there's two excavations? No, no, we do all the time. <laughs> that weekend, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, 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 Tom,